So let me go through that list again, because maybe you guys don't realize this. Maybe you don't realize this just yet. And that's okay, because it there's a lot to this, okay? Like, I get this. This isn't like, you know, this isn't kindergarten stuff. Mr. Homeowner, I'm offering you your full asking price, which is above fair market value already. I'm offering it to you with no commissions, no realtor's fees, no appraisal fees, no closing costs, no inspection fees. This is an easy open and shut case of leasing and buying that is going to save you money. Is this not something you're interested in or is this over? Okay. If you want to memorize that sentence, you can use that sentence to hit some home runs every now and then. Okay. Because I'll be honest with you, as much as you guys might not have had that programmed into your brain until just a moment ago, that, that homeowner definitely does not have that programmed into their brain. They don't know that about your offer. No, no commissions to me, no realtor's fees, no appraisal fees, no inspection fees, no closing costs, and I'm already offering you above fair market value today. Is that not worth talking about, or would you like me to just stop bugging you? Is that a pretty powerful pitch, Ty? Okay. Do you see how this is saving you money? Because if you were to go a traditional route and sell it yourself without this, particular offer, you would have probably all of these things. At least some of them would be coming out of your pocket, maybe even realtors commissions and all that, which will amount to a lot. Now, some people like to send them a breakdown of here's what it would cost with a realtor. Here's what it would cost. With, I don't like to do that. People are a fifth grade level. Okay. So you got to talk to them like they're in the fifth grade. And, and to me, that's what I'm good at. <laughs> I'm good because I kind of think like a fifth grader. In fact, I don't know if you guys have ever watched that show. I never really have. I've seen like maybe an episode or two of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I have found out that I truly am not. Okay. So like I really, I really, you know, I'm pretty good at breaking things down to a real simple level like that. So, you know, you got to have your sales gun loaded a little bit. All right. If you don't have that kind of thing prepped up in your mind, when you go to talk to a guy who's a little overpriced, he's a little maybe pushbacky, he's pushing back on this price stuff, and I'm not sure I want to do it. If you know, if if you shoot that shot and he's still interested, then he's just not your guy.